What's going on out there? So listen, today I'm walking around my terminal trying to get a little exercise in. Uh -huh. They're installing a new inverter on my truck. And I was just sitting here thinking about how you can write your own book and write your own chapter about the situation that you're going through. Stop being a victim. Stop being saying, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. You can do anything you put your mind to. Listen, we have overcome, as humans, we've overcome a lot of stuff. In my personal life, I've overcome a lot. I've been through a lot of trials, I've been through a lot of tribulations, and there's been a lot of people who's went through a lot worse than the stuff that I've been through. But God will never put no more on you than you can bear, so remember that. But you gotta start remembering that you write your own book. If you're not happy with the situation you're in, change it. Talk to the man upstairs and say, hey God, I don't wanna go through this no more. And if you don't post me going through it, then God will help you get through it and get you on. But sometimes God will shut doors just so he can open another door for you. But the main thing of this message that I want to get out to you today is that you can write your own book. You can speak your own stuff into existence. If you want to write down in your book, oh, I'm never going to be nothing. Hey, that's your chapter, baby. You're never going to be nothing. If you say, you know what, I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to go get that new job. I'm going to get this career. I'm going to get the house that I want. Or you can write down, I'm never going to leave. I'm going to be stuck in this forever. It's your book, baby. It's your chapter. So how do you write your chapter? Think about it for a moment. Let me know in the comments what your next chapter is going to be like. What are you going to do? Write in the comments what your next chapter is going to be like. If you get some value from this, hit that like button. But seriously, what do you want out of life? Stop blaming everybody else around you. Stop saying, hey, yo, I can't do this because such and such won't let me. My manager will never get me up there. Or this guy I'm with won't let me do this. Or this woman I'm with won't let me do this. Stop the bullshit. Change it. Quit being lazy. Quit having the, the victim mentality. This, we live in a country where we can accomplish anything we want. We can do it if we want to do it. All we got to do is just find a way. There is a Somebody told me a long time ago, my uncle said, hey, when there's a will, there's a way. If you've got a strong enough will, you're going to find a way. It ain't over till it's over. It ain't over. As long as you're breathing, you're achieving. So whatever you want out of life, if you ain't got it, look to yourself. Whatever you're going through, look to yourself. If you get angry with your with something or something happens, you can't say, oh, this person made me mad, that's why I got angry. Okay, what did I do? Take some responsibility. What did I do to put make this happen? You know what I'm saying? Don't let your emotions control you. Now, you're gonna have emotions, emotions are good. I'm not saying hold them all back, but you can use that if it's energy. Okay, use that energy to write your next chapter. Energy don't just dissolve, it turns into something else. So. If you're in a bad relationship and you got the you're a guy and a woman that broke your heart right take that energy and become a beast you know what i'm saying take that energy and go out there and work out and turn it into something so powerful that heartbreak ain't gonna hurt no more okay or whatever you're going through in life whatever bad thing is happening and whatever you're feeling inside of that stress take that and use it energy to become something say you know what i'm never gonna go through this crap again this sucks I'm going to take this energy and I'm going to be the better me that I can be. I'm going to be the best person that I can be. The best driver. The best hamburger flipper. Whatever it might be. The best husband. The best dad. The best wife. Whatever it is. Take that energy and instead of crying about it and laying around saying, hey, oh, whoa, it's me and feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> licking them damn wounds. Get to work. Get up and be a man and fight. Fight and write your own chapter. So the moral of this story is this is your book, man. You write that chapter however you want to. If you want to be a loser, and keep writing that damn same old script out. You want to be a winner? Change the narrative, babe. Change it. It's Trailing Life with Sean. Subscribe to my channel. If you got any value from this, hit that like button. Let's get it.